little shameless plug since I've been making my own mystery grab bags in my shop. I've been really interested in checking out other Etsy shops mystery boxes and bags and I got a couple of art supply mystery boxes and this one is from Bentley Artworks. This one came with a tray for paint, a pencil, and I really appreciate the little notes. It's a nice personal touch to have someone pick out these supplies and write a little note about them. And there's a furinsuke, I think that's how you say it. I have a couple of these. They're really good pens, especially if you like lettering with pen. Honestly, I haven't tried Prismacolors since I was in high school and I barely remember what they were like. They're also expensive, so that's kind of why I don't really use them. That's one reason I wanted to try these. I like that it gives you some supplies that you usually wouldn't pick out yourself. Artist Mixed Media Gel Stick. I've never seen this before or tried one. It's a fun medium. You can even add water with brushes, which transform into easily movable and blendable paint. Hmm. Another thing I've never tried before, I've seen inks and I've seen, I've watched people use them on YouTube, but I have never tried them. And um, a pocket sketchbook and a canvas board. The colors are right up my alley. This green and magenta and yellow. I'm especially excited to try some of these things in my mixed media art. I like that there's a little bit of everything. If you want to draw, there's pencil and a sketchbook, or if you want to paint, there's a canvas, paint, palette, palette knife, paintbrush. I also got this mystery grab bag mini painting kit from Lavender Chai Shop on Etsy. I think the easel was a bonus. This one, I got the three pack. Each one has a theme. I got lemons, sunset and lavender. I thought these would be fun to try as like a convenient on the go kit, especially if I'm traveling somewhere. You basically just need to bring the water and a brush. The thick watercolor card is taped off like a Polaroid shape, which is really cute. And this is sort of my introduction to gouache dot cards. I've seen a lot of these on Etsy and I think they're a really inexpensive way to try out gouache without buying the whole tube and they're slim cards which makes them easy to travel with or store. The gouache on the card dries so it can be activated later with some water which then you can use for future projects. This uh, lavender chai shop also left a note inside my package. Uh, Emily from Lavender Chai Co. said, I was so excited to see your order pop up in my email last week. I'm a full-time student now, but I've been following your YouTube channel since I was 12 years old. I had no idea that this person was a viewer of my channel. Thank you, Emily, for the kind note. I thought these little gouache kits were such a cute idea to spark inspiration for painting and it kind of gives you the topic and the paint without having to you know put too much work into it and you could just paint. If you're interested in another watercolor type travel kit, I did do a review recently on this pocket field sketch box. I've been uploading more often every week so in case you missed it you can go check it out. Thank you for all the comments left on my video asking about uh, scissor recommendations. It seems like so many people recommended the Cutter Bee scissors, so I got some to try. And I have to say, I was uh, not expecting these to be so smooth and cut like butter and be as comfortable as they are. I guess I just really underestimated these. and. Uh, definitely agree with your recommendation on this. I've tried scissors this size and none of them have ever felt this comfortable because they were cheap, but these ones like, it's so deceiving. These are way more comfortable than they look. I do feel like I have more precise control when I'm cutting with these. 
just in case these didn't work out, I did buy a different pair. Something is definitely weird about these scissors. Like when they close, they snap. They do cut fine though. They're just, something's off about them. They're definitely not as smooth. The blades like cross over each other, which is not supposed to happen, which makes me think there's not a stopper here. And it kind of looks like it's been like sanded off or something removed. Yeah, so if you look at the picture, the product picture, there's those little two dot stoppers, but these don't have that. Why, why has it been removed? That's so weird. The handles are comfortable. This, I think they just, maybe these are defected? I don't know. I will be returning them though. Also testing out the metal screen, which at first I didn't really like because the screen bends, but I did find that it picked up finer pieces of pulp, which made a more even surface of paper. <laughs> 